Hala ha. Now I love pickling and canning, so we're gonna do make this a regular segment called Pickling with Pickler. Very fun story. <laughs> there it is, oh my gosh. Yeah! Get your own but graphic. first, Carla, do you have a favorite Southern saying? I do. One that I use a lot is, full is a gray tick on a dog's ass. A what tick? You've heard that, right? Tick. A gray tick? Yeah, because, I mean, it's really gross if I had to explain how a tick gets gray. You know, they start brown mm -hmm. or black. And then they get old? No, they no, get full. No, they get full. And they turn gray when they and get old. Why do you know these things? I, I had a dog growing up. <laughs> and it was... <laughs> and you're like, oh, let me get that tick off. Oh, man. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, too oh, much, too much, too much, no, too much. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. I know, I get it. Good. Carla, but, tell us what we're making today. All right, so today we're going to make a chow chow. Yes. And um, chow chow is a pickled vegetable relish. And I'm guessing, Ben, that you've never had chow chow. Of course, no, no, of course <laughs> I've never, never, never in my life. This is, this is a staple. You can call this a permanent salad, which, because it's permanently in your fridge. Absolutely. Yeah. So you start with cabbage, mm -hmm. and then you jump, and that's, that's the, the largest uh, amount of ingredients. And then diced uh, onions, red peppers. It can be Love anything. Peppers. Chow chow means chop chop. So you're just really putting in a bunch of vegetables. That, that's all it means. Chow chow means chop chop. 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 I thought it meant eat eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chow chow. Oh, yes, We're in clever. your world. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then jalapenos. Oh, yeah. I love so, jalapenos. I know some people make theirs with red. Time out, time out. Yeah. Say the plural form of jalapeno, go. Jalapenos. Jalapenos? <laughs> jalapeno. 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 It's so much more fun, though, right? I know, it's so much more fun. Jalapeno. <laughs> because it's giving you that kick and that spice. Okay, so you, you mix your vegetables. You add in some salt. It looks like a lot of salt, but we will um, rinse this out later. And well, then, we have a big bowl. I was going to say, how many people are we feeding here? <laughs> no, if you're going to if you're gonna go through the trouble of making chow chow, you may as well make a lot because you're going to can it, basically. You're going to put it in jars. Oh, OK, right, right. So then I'm going to cover this. Okay. You're going to take it to the fridge. I'll All right. take it to the fridge. You got right. the fridge. The fridge. You, you know I'll how to get go. to the fridge. The this fridge is boy. the biggest measuring cup I've ever seen in my life. I know, isn't it? But it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. So, Kelly, I'm going to get you involved. Okay. So I started with, you're just going to pour, honey. I, okay, great. <laughs> I know, Kelly, right, Kelly was on the chew. She's like, okay, I don't I, know what this, like, what this room is. I do not want to burn down the kitchen. All right, so apple cider vinegar. Okay. You're going to pour in some water. Okay. I'm going to pour this way? Yeah, no, you're going to pour, I'm gonna pour this in here. Yes. There we go. Okay. And then to make, give it all its color, which is why I'm okay. dressed in yellow. Beautiful. Turmeric. Do you guys want a cherry? Turmeric. Um, uh, sure. Okay. Berry, Why not? berry, yes. berry, cherry. Ben yeah, bring some of the props. Oh, oh. <laughs> what is this? This is turmeric. Turmeric. Yeah, it's in a lot like. of curry, so that's what gives it Ooh. the color. Chow chow makes you hungry. Let's have some razzies. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mustard Black seeds. Berries. Mustard, mustard seeds. seeds. Yep. Mustard seeds. And then we're gonna do some celery, some celery seeds. Celery seeds. Yep. And some sugar. Sugar. Kelly's cooking. Love, love, love. Carla, how did you get into cooking? Love my cannon party. So, was in the audience. Right uh, now? my mom. No. <laughs> my, but, She's, we have a lot in common, you and I. No. We stay out of the kitchen, right? <laughs> Mama knows that she doesn't cook, and she's okay with that. She, she made great pancakes and meatloaf and all those things. That's great. But my grandmother was really the inspiration for me. She, she was just the best cook. I mean, biscuits, rolls, and all of that. Yeah. She, she just, ah. Oh. Just, nobody loves like grandma. I know, right? and granny. Oh, you have a granny? You call it granny. My There's grandma raised me. Oh, I know. Look oh at her. Oh, you know. Grandma was a hottie. Oh, my grandma goodness. Grandma was a hottie. Look, I know. My oh, grandmother, so you see sweet. that picture? My grandmother never took a picture straight on. She would always do profile. <laughs> really? She, I mean, she was like Nefertiti. <laughs> No, I yes. love it. <laughs> All right, so we take that the the vegetables that went in. Okay. Yep. No, you can leave them there, okay. Ben. So we take those out. We rinse them because we mm -hmm. had all that salt. So what the salt is going to do oh. is just draw out the moisture so that you have these nice, crisp, flavorful vegetables. All right. So now we're ready for to put it in the jars. Okay. So just make sure that these are clean. Yes. Make sure yes. that the the jars are clean. Mm -hmm. Put them in hot water. Let them dry. Don't dry them with a cloth. And then we're going to fill them with this look with the vegetables. With this.